Hey guys, welcome back to Black and Fight Academy. I uh, wanted to jump in with another question. By the way, if you aren't liked and subscribed on the channel or following us on Instagram, liking on Facebook, whatever platform you're watching us on, please go do that. Turn on the push notifications so that we, when we release a video, you get that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, today's question, I wanted to pick your brain. I wanted to ask you what your thoughts are on the Jake Paul, Tyrone Woodley fight. Did it go as expected or was it a bit of a shocker? Okay. Um, so you you heard I told you before what was it what was it I said before the fight happened? Just depends on which Tyrone Woodley comes up. Um, yep. If it's the Tyrone Woodley who is kind of very timid and just letting the, the rounds pass and expecting that one shot, um, mm -hmm. then it would probably just be a loss by activity, or yep. maybe he'd win a close decision. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I had a feeling that that's about the performance we we're going to see. I have not seen the fight. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the fight, um, but I don't blame people who are interested. I don't. I'm not one of those that is curmudgeonly and says, "Well, this isn't what I want to see, so no one should." It's its own thing, you know. There's a pay-per-view for it. If people are interested in watching it, that's awesome. You can shell out money to see it. Um, look, I mean, there's a lot of pay-per-view matchups that are legitimate fighters that I just think are nonsense matchups, and I'm not interested in watching those either. So, it is what it is. But I had a feeling because uh, Woodley has a history of uh, somewhat timidity um, that that we might see that again and I thought that might be the odds of that was amplified by the fact that his last fight against uh, Vincent Luque he did really go for broke he did swing for the fences he had Luque hurt but he got tagged for it and hurt and then he got choked out and so I, I thought maybe you know I thought that there was decent odds that we would not see him really swing for the fences uh, more than a punch at a time and we'd see something like this. Yeah. Um, the, the, look, there's a history there, and it's worth noting Jake Paul is a younger, you know, like a younger, bigger uh, opponent. So, you know, I understand why it happens. I get why it happens, but, uh, you know, that is what it is. Um, is he, has Paul already announced somebody else he's, he's fighting? Um, he's announced, apparently Tyron Woodley said he was going to get a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul, in order to get a rematch for the money. Jake I Paul said, said that he retired, and then he said that he unretired, and now he wants to fight Tommy Fury. Please tell me Tyron didn't actually get a tattoo. He said he was in front of live television after the fight. I hope that's just embarrassing. This seems a little desperate, but this, I, I don't. I don't think he will. Hopefully, <laughs> I, I, mean, I he hope knows. he did. Look, that For twenty million, like, thirty million dollars. I might that, get that, that tattoo. That would be too, like though. following like Conor McGregor's conditions. I'm like, oh, I'll definitely give you a rematch if you do this humiliating thing. It was like. For thirty no, million he won't, dollars, would but he, he won't, get that tattoo? No, because he wouldn't give me the rematch. I'd get that tattoo, and then he'd say he's not going to do it. Uh, that's that's what I mean. If this, it was guaranteed in a contract that you had to get I Love Jake Paul tattooed on like your, your shoulder for thirty, my shoulder? For 30 million dollars. Thirty million dollars? Yeah, I would yeah, do, do that. I think I, I think I'd do that. I don't think anyone would like be mad at you at that point. We'd all do it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> but, but that would be for a guaranteed rematch that, like, I know would be upheld. Yeah, like you're you're setting yourself up to get played and look like a look like a fool if you get that tattoo and then he says, oh, "Wait, I'm just joking." Someone who's no rematch. For trolling. Yeah, yeah, then then you you're asking to get played. But uh, if he's fighting Tommy Fury, that's a, that's an interesting matchup for the sake that it's you know it's a legitimate boxer. Um, I. I think I've said before that if he fights Tommy Fury, then Jake Paul's opponents have a better combined record than Michael Benefage's opponents, I believe. Seriously. In boxing? Uh, which is, in boxing. In boxing. Which is, which is saying something. Is that, like, I, look, that's, that in no way means that I think that Michael Page is not a better boxer. He is, absolutely. He's an amazing striker. But uh, he dips in and only cherry picks. Uh, so the fact that Jake Paul is even discussing fighting somebody who's a semi-legit boxer matters, you know. Okay, cool. I'd be more interested in seeing that. You got something against MVP? I, think I do. Fun. I, I think like he's that. too good. I think he's too good to do what he's doing. He's got a, good, a big fight coming up next Friday, which we'll be telling. Yes, is it is it Lima again? Mm -hmm. Oh, be a rematch. Okay. So well, look, look, that's so. it. Then good. Then good. They need to do that because he's he's got so much talent and he's not like a spry young chicken anymore like he needs yeah. to he needs to show some of that man like well, put it on the line because he got he's it. got the, the youth oh, he's got he everything he doesn't have the youth anymore he's like yeah. 34 
So he's so. running out of time. Yeah, but, yeah, but he's got the talent. I want to see that. Anyway, we, all right. We've been just about everywhere in this conversation, so yeah, I'm going to yeah. cut it off. That's our take on Jake Paul versus Woodley, Michael Venom Page, tattooing on the arms, just about everything. So yes, yes. thank you guys let for, us, for Let joining. us know below what you think. I want to know what, what you guys think about the YouTuber fights. I want to know what you guys think about uh, that pay-per-view model and if you think that it has any bearing on like where things go from here as far as combat sports. And if you would get I Love Jake Paul tattooed on your yeah, would you do million. It? Dollars. Would you do it? Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. Goodbye, guys.